Here's something that's very annoying, and it's a predicament that I'm in. On this channel, there is a vocal minority, and you know who you are, that's constantly asking me to suggest you stuff. It's like, hey V, can you suggest an anime? Can you suggest a video game? Can you suggest a comic book? Because, like, I took your previous suggestions, and I really loved it. I watched Batman Who Laughs. I, I, I watched The Kingdom. I mean, I, they're great. Can you suggest more? Whenever I suggest something, people don't watch it. Hey, did you notice that? Like, people are negative when I'm being positive, and people are positive when I'm being negative. But just to show how much I care about you, I'm going to suggest you something. Because uh, a couple of days ago, I went downstairs, and my future wife, I guess, like, fiancé, right? She's watching this zombie movie, and I'm like, oh, it's the zombie genre. Oh my god, like, yet another one. A and I'm being captivated with it, and it's actually good. Like, it's actually good. It's one of the zombie TV shows that... Is great. So if you don't have the zombie fatigue, because I get it, you know, like a lot of you will just hear, oh, zombie, turn off, right? Because it's like, you probably seen it already. You haven't seen this one. I guarantee to you, because it's a TV show that actually focuses on the horror of the zombie genre. It's not a telenovela like The Walking Dead. Like, you're not going to find out who's sleeping with whom and the love triangle and Negan is cut. No, none of that shit, okay? Like, that one that I, that I saw, like, the few episodes that I saw were amazing. It, it managed to, to ramp up the tension. Uh, it was very suspenseful the whole time. And apparently, like, my fiance says she's very scared about it. I, I didn't feel scared, but I felt like there, there was a thrilling to it. It, it. it was a thriller. It was a thriller. Like a, and very rarely do I get to see TV shows nowadays, like, spark some emotion into me. Like, make, getting me to feel something. I'm usually bored. But, like, when I watched this, it was great. So I'm going to explain to you why it was great, what, what I think it does right, all right? Now, first of all, there is no identity politics being stuffed in it, and I, and I absolutely love that, right? Like, the cast is diverse, but it's not the type of diversity where white man bad, uh, person of color good and oppressed, you know? Like, none of that. No, it's like, everyone is a piece of shit in, in that show, right? Like, everyone is just trying to survive and is making questionable moral choices, which leads up to consequences based on the choices they made. So, so I really like that. Okay, now, I need to mention that um, <clears throat> another thing that I really like is that there is no romance. There is no love. There's no characters that are doing the fiki fiki and the apocalypse. Like, none of that shit. And, and I love it. It's like, look, why is it that every single TV show needs to have romance in it? This one doesn't. And it works in its favor. I, I think it's great. There, there is no love couple. There, there's no romance. There's nothing. Okay, people are trying to survive. They don't have time to fuck. And I was like, okay. You know, like, that, that's, that's a plus. That's another plus. Something else that I liked was that the zombies are very dangerous. Like, they, they're not like in The Walking Dead where it's like, oh, zombies. Oh, and it's like a, so some way to get the plot moving along. No, like, the zombies here are very dangerous, especially in Season 1. People don't have weapons, so they, they have to engage with them in melee. And I thought, that's really great. Um, and one zombie, for example, can make an entire episode. And, and the reason this happens is, like, you have episodes from the perspective of the zombie. I know that sounds ridiculous, but it works so well. Like, they, they've managed to do it. For example, like, they, they get you to care about the character. And then when the character dies and he becomes a zombie, you actually know who the character is. You're invested in that character. And, and now the entire episode is through the perspective of the zombie. It, it, it works. Like, trust me, I didn't think it would work. Like, if you tell it to someone else, it's like, what, what are you talking about? But here it works and it, it does a really great job. The zombies are kind of like 28 days later. They, they run. They're very fast. And one bite makes them uh, turn the other person instantly. So it's not like The Walking Dead where it takes a lot of time for the person to turn. So that's why the zombies are incredibly dangerous. And nowhere is safe. Like, you, you get that feeling. It's, it's constant tension. It's constant wrapped up tension, which is what zombie genre should be like. It shouldn't be like, oh, yeah, it's the apocalypse. But hey, look, they found this prison or they found this farm or they found this safe place. And now let's look at the drama that the characters are going in um, while the zombies are somewhere. No, no, no. Like, here the zombies are ever present. Like, it's the end of the world. Nowhere is safe. Uh, you don't know who to trust. So, so that's really great. I, I, I really loved it. It's Look, I don't like the zombie genre, I gotta say. I, I'm not really into it anymore. I mean, I loved it back in the first seasons of The Walking Dead. But then I got bored. Because there were like show after show after show. Uh, and here, it really brought it back. Like, I'm really excited. Like, trust me. You know, like, if, if you watch the first episode 
of the first season, you're you're going to agree with me. It, it's very unlikely you wouldn't like it unless you don't like you know thrilly thrillers or you don't like horror or anything like that. Then I get it. But like, if you are a fan of it, you can watch it and you can uh, you, you you can tell me if I was right or not. Very rarely am I wrong, huh? Like everyone that that listened to me and watched The Kingdom, for example, they loved it. Uh, Jesus, maybe I do like the zombie genre because I recommend the Train to Busan as well. I would put it at the level of Train to Busan, to be honest. Kind of like that level. Uh, another thing that makes it cool is that um, the way it's filmed is very original, right? Like th th this is why it puts a really interesting twist. It's it's not like more of the same. It's shot like a documentary. You, you get to see it through different characters' eyes. And, and that's what I think like it, it manages to, to be really great and why, why I actually recommend it. Like, for example, you might see in the beginning of the episode uh, a girl shooting a guy in cold blood. And, you know, like you think, whoa, what a bitch, right? And then you get it through the person getting shot's perspective and you see why it led up to the girl getting uh, uh, to pull the trigger. And you get context, and you're like, oh, wow, that's interesting, right? So it, it wasn't like black and white, there were shades of gray. And you keep getting this, you know, like, an entire episode <clears throat> can be centered around the house, for example, and, and you get to see, like, different characters that try to get in the house through different places and, and what's going on while the person is in the back and the other person is in the front, what's going on at the top stairs. It's, it's a very interesting way of filming. Um, I guess it's kind of like uh, Westworld, in a way, you know, where, where they try to film a season through different perspective and time and blah, blah, blah. But here is done well. Like, here is not done as poorly as in Westworld. They actually get it right. So I, I really enjoyed that moment of cinematography, like the originality of it all. Uh, it's kind of like reading Game of Thrones and you're reading it through different characters' perspective. It's, it's kind of like that, but in a whole episode. So, so I really loved it. And uh, finally, you know, like the only bad news, I guess, is that it's on Netflix. You know, like my fiance watches it. Yeah, if you if you don't like Netflix and you don't have an account, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying that you should start an account just to see this one. But, you know, like, you know, there's certain things that I can't say on YouTube. Let's put it like that. There are certain things that I'm not allowed to say here. But let, let's say you're dumb enough if you don't figure it out by your own. Let, let, let's put it like this. Huh? Like, it, it, are, we, are we understanding each other? Do, do we get each other? Fuck me. Like, I, you know, it's so annoying when I tell someone, it's like, hey, there's something like on Netflix. They're like, oh, I don't want to buy Netflix. And I'm looking at him in the comment section, you know. And I'm looking at him with narrow eyes like this, you know. It's like, are you that dumb? Like, are you, are you really that? Like, do you, do you not know that there might be a way? A way forward. Hmm? Like, have you explored all the possibilities? Eh? Like, do you want me to spell it out for you? Because huh? I, I, I don't know. I don't know how much I can get away with on YouTube. So I'd rather not. Uh, but let, let me tell you this. If you're complaining that, oh, yeah, I don't have Netflix so I could watch it, you're dumb. Okay? I'll, I'll just put it like that. You're dumb. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not elaborating any further, but you should connect the dots. You should make up the, the rest of it. So, uh, yeah, that, that is the, the only thing. Like, but I personally, you know, like, I want to promote things that are good. Like, I don't care if it's Netflix. I'm telling you personally, right? If, if, if it's something good, then I will tell you. Like, okay, that, that is this and it's actually watchable. It's, it's very great. You should check it out. If it's bad, I'll, I'll say it's bad. Because, like, I, I do have hope. Like, at one point, at one point, the entire entertainment culture in the West needs to restart. It, it needs to get back alive. It needs to jumpstart, right? Like... And the only way I think it, it will happen is if good movies get promoted and bad movies get demoted, right? Like, people don't go to see bad shit, but whenever there is a good shit, it needs to go up so that people can say, hmm, why, why are these movies getting viewership and these don't? Like, what, what, what is the secret? What, what is happening here, right? So, so I think uh, that's um, how I personally view it. Uh, but hey, you know, like, let me know what you think, and I'm looking forward uh, in a couple of days if you guys uh, watched a couple of episodes to tell me. Oh, and by the way, there, there's something else that's interesting. Apparently, like, this uh, takes place into the same cancer universe, like uh, Z Nation, you know, like Zombie Nation. I really despise that TV show. Like, I, I hate it. It's like they try to put a comedic twist to the whole zombie thing. And this is like a prequel to that. It's in the same universe, but like, you don't get like any weird shit. It's just like average zombies um and this one is horror so it's not comedy there's no funniness in it there's not not a, not a single funny moment 
and it's kind of weird. Like I, I never had this. Like to to actually despise a show, an IP. Like I, I hate the IP to the point where I stopped watching. And now that I'm watching this prequel, I'm like, whoa, you know, like it's actually good. But it's it's such a different vibe. It's such a different tone. And I assume like there might be people who liked Z Nation, which is now canceled, who liked it and will hate this one. Like they're not going to get into this one. Um, it's a very interesting thing because it's uh, again like the difference between um, comedy and horror is staggering between these shows. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.